Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I want to showcase another great product by a company I've worked with in the past, and they're called Mount Genie. And what they do in a nutshell is make smart home uh, really slick mounting solutions for your Google Assistant and your Amazon Assistant. They do make a few other products that are universal, which are the one I'm going to show you today uh, is technically a universal product, but it's technically geared uh, more towards the Amazon Echo Dot, number three. Uh, so I reached out to them the other day, and they were nice to send me a few more products, and you're going to be seeing about four or five different products on the channel from this company. If you haven't checked out some of the other products I've, re I've reviewed over the years uh, with this particular company, check it out. Just go to my, uh, my playlist list and search for uh, Mount Genie. So what I like about Mount Genie is they give you some really slick solutions to customize the mounting location of these great smart home devices. Now I'm not going to get involved in all the other products that they have. I encourage you again to click the link and see what they offer. But let's talk about the one they sent me today. And this is the, again, the Echo uh, Dot 3 uh, flush mount solution. Now the original one uh, was basically it was awesome. I have it downstairs. If you have, again, if you haven't checked out my video on that, um, it's great. It's still working. I've had no issues with it. And that allowed me to mount the Echo in the wall. Uh, now, with that particular mount, I had a great location for that next to my thermostat. Uh, I painted to match my iWall dock with my flush-mounted tablet. It's kind of like the little command center for downstairs. It looks really cool. It's clean. It's flush. Uh, it doesn't look like a bunch of electronics just laying out. You know, it's very clean looking. And with this particular one, I just got an Echo Dot three the other day. Uh, it was a deal Amazon had. I forget what it was for signing up for something. Uh, you got a free dot. So I said I could always use that. Now the nice thing about having multiple dots or mo multiple smart home assistants is that whatever room you're in, one of these devices is going to pick you up. They're also great for whole home audio. So I like to have all these things set up. Uh, and let me just talk again about just the Amazon product today because they're a little bit different depending on if you go with the Google Home or you go with the Amazon Assistant. Uh, with the Amazon Assistant, you can set up uh, speaker groups. And so I have one called Everywhere. So when I say, hey, play this everywhere, what the Amazon Assistant will do is play it through all the speakers. And you can select, I believe you can change the delay and make sure they all kind of sync up. It's not 100% perfect, but it allows me to get a little bit of no, a little bit of music in all the rooms. Now, again, it depends. Now, as far as sound quality, it kind of depends on, on what speaker you're running with it. The nice thing about the Amazon Echo products is that you can hook up an external speaker, a stereo system, a sound bar, like the video I just did the other day, and you can hook up a speaker via Bluetooth. Or you can use a speaker if it has one that's on board the device. Now, most of the time in my bedroom, uh, which is where, I'm, where I mounted this Echo, uh, Echo Dot 3, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Now, I have previously mounted this uh, one of these downstairs in the wall. And in my bedroom, I just didn't want to cut into the wall. I didn't have a perfect location uh, in this room. And I wanted the ability to just have this thing kind of built in and never have to worry about it. So this is, and I wanted to do a video a little bit different. So this is a great solution if you're in an apartment and you don't, have the ability to maybe cut into your walls or run wires to the walls. This is a great idea. Uh, so what this is, I'm going to show you guys today, is my smart fireplace. And what I've done is I've integrated um, an extra outlet in this fireplace. I've used a smart socket for the fireplace. And now I've integrated a flush mounted Echo Dot. And I think it looks really slick. And the nice thing about this is that if you are, uh, and not in my case, but if you are in kind of a temporary uh, situation or you might move or, or whatever your, your, your situation is, you're in an apartment, it's not permanent, this is a great way to add one of these into maybe one of your fireplaces or another device that may go with you. It could be a dresser. Um, it could be you know, uh, a table. It, the sky is kind of the limit with these mountings, uh, these mounts. And I love the way they look because they just look really custom and slick. So let's check it out. So what I've done, take a look at this, guys. And I love electric fireplaces. You know, it's a great way to add some ambiance to a room and some functionality with the heat. Now, again, a lot of this stuff is just cool factor. I like to customize things. Do I use this fireplace a lot for the heat? No, I have... Um, forced air in my house it's always pretty comfortable but there are times where maybe in the middle of the night I may get really cold and it's very easy for me to use my voice turn on the fireplace for a little bit and then turn it off so again this may be something you want maybe something you don't want but I think it's got, it's got a cool factor and maybe it'll give you some inspiration uh, for integrating some of this cool stuff into your home so let me turn the camera around here and I'll show you what I did so this is just a standard electric fireplace. You can spend a lot of money for these. This is one that I got at one of my local big box stores years ago. I got it for under 150 bucks. Um, it has 
basically uh, your light, which unfortunately the other day finally stopped working. Uh, there is some, and I'll demonstrate this in just a second. There is basically a fake flame, and it gives you some nice ambiance, a nice little warm glow. Right now, the wheel that simulates uh, what a flame is supposed to look like, that flickering effect, is gone. So, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm in the process of fixing it. I took it all apart. I just have to find a new motor. The motor that turns the wheel actually burned out. But you still get a little bit of ambiance, and it's not really a big deal to me. Now, I love these things. I have three of these in my house. I have one in the bathroom, one in my bedroom, one in my office, and then I have a gas fireplace downstairs. And so with this, rather than actually mounting uh, the, the Amazon product in a wall, I decide to flush mount the device in the fireplace. So uh, this is it right here. And hopefully you can see here, I apologize for the lighting. My bedroom's a little bit dim. Uh, this is the device right here. So what you get, let me pop the grill off, is basically a plastic insert. It comes with the extension cable, which is another six feet. So if you are gonna put this in a wall, you're not gonna have to worry about getting another cable. Uh, the cable that comes with the device, I believe is five or six feet, and it's basically just an extension. So it allows you to plug this thing in from a decent distance. If you have to run it through a wall to find an outlet, um, you can totally do that. Now, they did send me the white one, and I did wanna mount this one in my fireplace in my office, but unfortunately, uh, that fireplace has some decorative trim, and and I already put a beautiful coat of paint on it a couple years ago, and I just don't want to have to repaint the whole thing. So I opted to put it in here. Now, temporarily, I did paint this mount uh, black. I am going to take it out and paint it brown to really blend in with the fireplace. Uh, now, it doesn't look bad black, and you can leave the cover off. And this thing, you don't necessarily have to just mount an Amazon Echo product. Anything that will uh, kind of squeeze in between these three tabs on the inside, you can mount. So whether it be a Bluetooth speaker, uh, you can get pretty creative with these things, and it just or you can really mount anything uh, that you can fit in the space. So again, click the link in the description, I believe, that they have in the in the Amazon listing uh, the dimensions, but figure on an Echo uh Echo Dot 3, uh, this fits flush in there. So you can leave it with the cover off. In my case, because the Echo Dot I have is white, um, I leave the cover on because it does kind of stick out like a sore thumb uh, against the, the brown fireplace. I painted the grill uh, to match. And again, this will, and it doesn't look bad. It's the color of the fireplace, but I will paint this brown to really blend in. Cool thing about the grill is that you have uh, four larger size holes and that allows you to see the status lights on this uh, particular device. And then with the status ring that lights up on these, it'll glow through all the perforations uh, in the grill. Uh, only thing about it, the grill, I, it came with some double stick tape and I assume that's what it was for and I ended up throwing it away, but the grill just kind of, it only goes one way. So let me just kind of position it here. Whoops, upside down. And so you want to position everything and line everything up so these holes will show you right through there. This is your status light. So when I say, so I'm going to say the keyword, guys, or the trigger word. So <laughs> don't get mad at me. Uh, Alexa. So you can see it lights up. You can see it right through here. And whoops, see, I didn't even line that up properly here. So, whoops, sorry, guys. I got it all lined up incorrectly. So there is some status lights here, or some, I'm sorry, some microphone lights, not status lights. And you want to make sure that this is lined up. Get it on here. Ah, it's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. We'll get it. I got to put you guys down for a second. Let me just line it up. All right, I made that a lot harder than it had to be. So anyway, the grill is on, it only lines up one way. Um, what would probably be nice is having a little, maybe piece of Velcro on here. Um, it stays, it's not gonna pop off, but it's a little bit loose, and that's the only thing about this that I, I think is a little bit negative. If you were ceiling mounting this, you would have to use the adhesive, and I believe that's what the double-sided tape was for. Um, but you know, it's kind of a square piece that would go right in the middle. You probably wouldn't see it through the grill, uh, but if you were using maybe a black Echo, uh, uh, you might see that through there, so uh, I'm not really sure because the tape is white. But anyway, that's what I did, and you know you can customize this how you want. Again, you don't have to use a grill if you don't want, but if you were going to ceiling mount this, you would want to use a little bit of something adhesive to kind of hold that grill on a little more. Other than that, the thing is awesome. 
there's a tab on the back. Basically, you cut your hole. Um, only downside to mine, it didn't come with a template, but the Google Home Mini one did come with the template. In my case, I just took a measurement. I, 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 I traced off a hole, and I used a hole saw just to basically cut the hole in here. Um, and then once I got the hole cut, you basically just squeeze it in there. And in my case, I didn't even have to use the back bracket, but it comes with a metal bracket, and there's two holes in the back side of the mount. You basically just squeeze the bracket uh, with the screws between the the mounting surface and the back of the mount and it takes a nice bite in there so if you are ceiling mounting this um, it'll make sure that it's not going to fall down on you on the back side you have your extension cable they do give you a nice little tool in case you have to remove this device it's a little kind of l-shaped piece of metal that goes in there and you can basically kind of pop your speaker out because right now it's not going to fall out like it's in there pretty snug again you can see how easy it is to put the grill on i made it more complicated than it had to be uh, but it's pretty cool i'm going to say the wake word again so you can see how it glows through Alexa what so that's basically it guys and then of course I was I misspoke earlier uh, these holes are just so you have a little bit more um, I guess a little bit more room on top of the microphone to ensure you're not covering up any of those uh, those microphone um, holes that they have in the top of the device um, you can actually still you might be saying well how do I change the adjust the functions you know all the functions on here you can use your voice for but they do say um, that you can still press the button so let me just find the volume knob the volume button here and you can press it right through the grill um, that that is true you have to kind of press a little hard and it does kind of pop the grill move the grill around but overall i mean it's a great product um i think what would be a really a much better solution this is just i always like to give companies a little bit of ideas i think again this is a great product but i think what would be nice is uh if they gave you two grills one that completely covers it like this and again you don't have to use the grill but it would be nice to give you one grill and then another grill that would be more of just a trim ring that maybe was round, covered up the mounting surface, but exposed uh, your buttons in case you want to use that. But, you know, this company is always changing. They're always making new moves, and they're always coming up with new products. Again, this is the first product of its kind. Uh, last year's model or a couple years earlier, um, it was simply just the wall mount. It didn't have the grill. It's nice they've included that. Uh, and again, for the same price, $19.99 shipped to your door, it gives you everything you need to the price point is killer on this. Again, guys, when I've reviewed other products in the past by other companies, generally for wall mounts, you're paying like 30 bucks and higher. Um, their their price, and even $30 is not bad, but there's not many companies making something like this, and I think this company is just doing really great things. Uh, so let me just kind of demonstrate. Um, again, over here, just give you guys a little more of an idea. I mounted a outlet in here. And basically just put an extension cord on the back and it plugs right in. Uh, there's a power strip in the back here. And what's cool about this is you can still use the fireplace to plug different devices in if you want to charge your phone or whatever. You're not uh, completely blocking off an outlet, you know. So that's why I added the outlet on the side. It blends right into the fireplace. And then, of course, you have that awesome uh, Echo product. And you can see from this distance, um, it's really pretty sleek. And so I'm just going to show you guys how it turns on the fireplace. Alexa, turn on the bedroom fireplace. And you can see, obviously, the fireplace goes on. Alexa, turn off the bedroom fireplace. So that's about it, folks. I mean, I think it's a really cool way to um, to flush mount or add a uh, Amazon uh, Smart Home Assistant in your in your home. Um, it's again, it's just another way to integrate this stuff to have it look clean and slick without being on a coffee table, without being on your dresser, uh, which is where I had it. Now they do have a couple other products if you don't want to go through the hassle of doing. What I did, which honestly, it was really easy. Um, you know, you can actually get, the other uh, bracket they sent me is actually just a tabletop mount. And what it does, it holds this particular Echo on its side, kind of at an angle. Their whole idea is that these products will sound better uh, with the way that they place them. Uh, same thing with this device. They claim that the sound will echo in the in the mouth itself and you get better sound quality. I honestly can't really tell a difference. What I love about these products is just the fact that um, they're still very functional, they're very clean, they look slick, and you can use this many different places. Another option I can give you guys is I thought about putting it in my headboard, you know, uh, right over your head. Um, you can put it in the side of a dresser as long as it doesn't interfere with um, 
you know, the drawers. There's a lot of options uh, you can use with, with, to mount these things. Um, if you're not really interested in cutting a hole or mounting this in any of your devices or your walls, they make a lot of other devices that are basically mounts that allow you to hang this device from outlets. So, um, again, really easy ways to integrate this stuff into your home without it being um, kind of like a centerpiece or, a, you know, a focus. Um, you know, and that's kind of how I, you know, just to give you guys an example here, when we look at my bedroom, uh, everything's pretty, pretty slick in here, you know what I mean? Again, that is subjective, but when you look around, you know, I have my, my, um, this is a smart alarm clock. Uh, when you look around the room, there's not too much on the end tables, you know, just a couple lamps. All these are smart bulbs in here. I got some LED strips hidden behind the headboard. Uh, my dresser's got a, uh, a JBL, I forget the name of it, but it's a JBL smart speaker. Um, everything here, the 5.1 Dolby Digital Systems in wall paint to match. Um, nothing looks cooler is when you walk into a room and you have all this technology. And guys, I'm not saying that there's more technology in this room than any room out there. But when you walk into a room and know it has a full-blown 5.1 Dolby Digital System, a Vizio soundbar when you don't want to turn on the, uh, the, the, the system, you know, the really loud system, everything's really clean and sleek. And that's kind of how I like to, uh, I guess, decorate in my home. I like the tech there, but I don't like to necessarily see the tech. I want it to be discreet and not so in your face and use, you know, other things to draw you in, you know, like flowers and little knickknacks and stuff like that. So again, everybody decorates differently. Everybody has a different idea of what looks nice. And ultimately, this is just how I choose to decorate my home. I'm very happy with their products. Their products are right up my alley. And I, I encourage you to check out their website. So let me know if I can help you guys in any way. Click the link in the description. Check out their Amazon store. I'll also put a link to their actual website. The best place, best place to buy these is Amazon. Again, 19 bucks. Most other companies charge way more for products like this. And they're just fantastic. So I look forward to reviewing the other products I have from them. And stay tuned for more, guys. If you do like the content, subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, if I can help you in any way, let me know. Have a great evening and take care.